so in yesterday's class we had discussed up to 10 problems am i right you know i want to start with the problem 11 am i correct okay now look at the problem i have a special connection with this particular problem i don't know how many of you remember this problem do you remember what is the special connection or what is the peculiar in this problem is do anyone remember what is peculiar in this problem i taught this problem and that too, this problem was taught in the online mode only because at the time it was a rainy holiday or something was there and it went in the month of december i gave a clue to you let me see how many of you can able to recollect that point this problem i taught you in the online class it is there as a recorded version in our ms teams but something is left over what was that Can you understand what I am trying to say? Hello. In the problem, there is a special item on the card. Then, can you understand? Then, can you understand? Can Very good. bill of exchange do you remember i said that i will explain the same concept in the physical mode also how many of you remember the same let me check it up how many of you remember the same about the bill of exchange concept in that particular problem which i promised that or i said i will be explaining the same in the physical mode you remember okay but did i explain it or did you remember me no so now the time has come to give you the explanation okay fine so let's go by one by one pass journal entries for the following transaction in the books of x y and z sharing the profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1 Okay, so there are three partners X, Y, Z, and this is the profit sharing ratio, and it is given at the time of dissolution. Point number one: realization expenses rupees two thousand borne by the partner and also paid by the partner. So it's given very clearly. Okay, realization expenses two thousand rupees were to be borne and also paid by X. partner the same partner so when the same partner bears the responsibility and pays the responsibility what is the ultimate solution very good so for the first case no entry okay the first case entry will not be passed moving on to the second one why a partner to bear realization expenses okay so here why is a partner okay to bear realization expenses agree that the value of rupees 1900 actual expenses paid by y were rupees 1500 here what will be the solution no entry no here no entry is not possible there is one particular word which gives you a hint or it gives you that it is of different concept
no look here it was agreed at 1900 but payment comes to only 1500 which is below the agreed value right check it properly what will be the case Tell me. Tell me your answer once again. No, no. Board my partner, but not pay me from no, not that one case. Yes. It is a concept of remuneration payment. And so far, in yesterday's concept, we have uh, given very clearly remuneration, remuneration like that. Partners pay remuneration. Here, what is the clue is why a partner to bear realization expenses agreed. So, if he bears the responsibility, whatever the amount that comes, he should pay. Here, the word agreed is something making a difference. So it was agreed in the sense the firm has agreed to pay thousand nine hundred rupees to him in the form of remuneration, and actual expenses paid by the partner was rupees only thousand five hundred. So here responsibility is borne by the partner, paid by the partner, but still it is a concept whereby the amount of responsibility is paid to the partner in the form of remuneration. Am I making sense to you? hello the the word agreed this referring to remuneration this is referring to remuneration payment okay let me write fully this referring to remuneration payment so now tell me what could be the journal very good very good so realization account is debited to wise capital account clear the second one any doubt to anyone the first two okay moving on to the third case what is given the third case it is about the general reserve it was showing a balance of rupees 18000 on the date of the solution what is the general treatment for general reserve general reserve kana general treatment dena enna panuvinga general reserve in other chapters wherever you found general reserve whether change in psr admission or retirement that what you do general reserve You will write off the general reserve or distribute the general reserve. Distribute. Don't use the wrong word. Write off. Write off for cancel. Okay. So you have to distribute general reserve. That means general reserve account debit to whom you are going to distribute it. To whom all you are going to distribute it. You are going to distribute it to. You will be distributing to all partners, right? So that distribution you have to show it here. Here, that distribution you have to show it. So that means partner X, Y, and Z. So to X capital account. to wise capital account and to z capital account and the amount has to be distributed okay so what is the amount to be distributed if you ask 
the amount shown in the question is how much is the amount? 18,000. So 18,000 distribute in 3 to 1 ratio. Okay. So 18,000 over here. When you distribute 18,000 in 3 to 1, how much you'll get? Eighteen thousand into three by six, so nine thousand, and then six thousand and three thousand, right? Yeah. So nine thousand, six thousand, three thousand. Okay. This is how you do the calculation. The next one, Y was given loan. Okay, so Y was given loan of rupees 50,000 by the firm. So here, what sort of loan is this? Firm is offering to the partner or partner is offering to the firm. It is a case where it's a fourth case, right? Yeah, so it's a case four. So firm has given loan to partner okay then obviously it is a matter of a liability for the partner whereas it is a matter of an asset in the form of loans and advances to the firm now what they said had they given any information about this loan So obviously the loan should be received. Okay, the loan has to be received. Okay, from whom? From the partner. So how we are going to receive it? You will be receiving in the form of cash or in the form of bank. Right? So cash or bank will be debited to loan to Y. Right? It is a loan you are given to Y. Am I right? So firm given. But the, so the entry will be as cash or bank account debited to loan to Y account. So here this loan to Y initially where you had transferred the amount of loan to Y is an internal liability. So this you would have taken as a sorry yeah this is an asset. This asset you would have taken it as a item to be transferred to debit side or you are not transferred to debit side of your real estate account. You are real estate account to transfer to the real estate account. No, in an internal liability you will not transfer. So which account you will take it means this is an item which will show separating the cash or bank account and in the loan account. So the list of five items, you remember in the first class we discussed, there are five important accounts to be prepared in dissolution. One is your real estate account. Second is your partner's capital account. The next one is bank account or cash account. And then the loan account. Do you remember these five items? I repeat it. Okay, realization account is account number one. Account number two is partner's capital account. Account number three is the loan account. That loan account covers both. One is loan by the partner to the firm and loan by the firm to the partner. So by this four accounts comes. And the last account is your cash out bank account. Now is it clear to you? So this is an item which should not appear in realization account okay should not appear in realization account okay then where it should appear should appear only in bank or cash account and in your 
लोन अकाउंट दिस इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन दिस इज पॉइंट क्लियर टू एवरी वन हेलो फोर्थ क्वेश्चन पूरी जमा या नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू फिफ्थ वन वाई A partner took a machine valued at rupees twenty thousand. Okay, so it was given like why partner is taking a machine valued at twenty thousand rupees. Now you tell me what will be the case? What is the entry for this? When very good. So any partner takes a part of an asset or company's asset at some value it will be routed through the realization in case of dissolution okay so while capital account debitor while capital account is debitor to realization account Value has taken it for twenty thousand rupees. So fifth transaction got over. Now come to the transaction number six. Z, a partner, agreed to pay creditor of rupees thirty thousand for rupees twenty thousand. Okay, so Z is a partner who has agreed. To pay the creditor worth of rupees thirty thousand at the value of rupees how much twenty thousand. So what could be the journal? It is a responsibility which the partner has taken, and creditor. What is this? It is not a loan and all. It is the creditor. Okay, so creditor. Paid by partner. In simple terms, we can say what has happened. A creditor has been paid by the partner. Okay, creditor paid by partner. So first, to make you understand easily or to make you conceptually, initially where you have transferred this creditor, this creditor where you have shown. Very good. So realization account. Credit side, you have transferred, and then what you should do, you have to pay off this creditor. Okay, you have to pay off. Pay off in a sense, you have to pay the amount. Okay, so pay off creditor. So where will you show this payment of creditor? So debit side of realization account. Okay, so now for this realization account because you said yet it should appear in the realization account debit side. So let me explain you with the ledger realization account. This is debit side, this credit side. So it was mentioned debit side of realization account. So this is debit side. Okay, so here it should appear to something else. So that means, in realization account, if something is going to appear on debit side, means then that something, the item which is going to appear on debit side, will be credited in the journal. Is it correct? If some item to appear on the debit side of realization account, then obviously the item should have got credited in the journal. Is this correct? Hello. Okay. So then. Obviously, realization account should have got debited. So, the entry will be realization account is debited to the what is the something? Obviously, the question says it is nothing but creditor is paid by partner. So, when partner is involved, his capital account will come into the picture. So here, that particular partner who has taken the responsibility is whom? Who has taken the responsibility? 
Z. Correct? So, realization account debited to Z's capital account. Now, it was given very clearly in the question, though the amount of creditor was 30, but they agreed to pay it at 20. So, that means the value at which you are paying him will be coming to the picture. Is this clear to you all? Purish Dhamma. Okay. Now come to seventh transaction. What is given the seventh transaction? <coughs> A partner had given loan to the firm rupees 10,000. Okay. And then he accepted rupees 7,500 in settlement. Okay. So what has happened? Partner had given loan to the firm rupees 10,000. He accepted rupees 7,500 in settlement. Okay. Then what about that remaining 2,500? Right? We should understand. What about the remaining amount of rupees 2,500? Okay. Let me again explain you. Partner has given loan to firm rupees 10,000. So now out of 10,000, the amount given the question is rupees 7,500 settled because the word settlement is given. Then what about the remaining 2,000? This is the balance. Okay, this is the balance. Okay, so initially, what is this? It is a loan, right? It is a loan accepted by the firm from the partner. Am I right? It is a loan accepted by the firm. From the partner is it correct or wrong okay that being the case then first you tell me where you have shown that loan loan by okay partner will you take this to realization account or you won't take this to realization account Okay, so this you won't take it because it is a what type of liability? Very good. So it's an internal liability. So initially the loan, whatever the amount shown, 10,000, you won't take it to realization account. Now, you are going to settle the loan. Okay, so when will you settle the loan? After meeting your third party's liability. Okay, bank, then partner's wife, creditors. And then you will come for settling the internal liability. So this is the order of payment. Correct? Okay. Now, your settlement is now only for rupees 7,500 as I said. Though it is rupees 10,000 rupees. When you settle the payment, what will be the journal entries? Just recollect there we had one transaction. Okay. Firm given loan to partner. Angena entry on there. Okay. Firm given loan to the partner. 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 Okay. Angan the cash and all can order. Receive and ring. Firm the cash receive order. Correct? Okay. Ipo in that one there. Partner ke, okay, payment the program is Partner put the loan. Okay, partner has given loan to the firm. Now this loan should have been settled or not? It is getting settled. Apo inge ke settle pandra mode. Yapri payment toro, entry entry toro. 
the respective part. Yes. So loan by partner account is debited to cash or bank account. Right? To cash money. This is journal, not simple. This is journal. This is transaction. Okay. Okay. Page 1. Partners loan rupees seven thousand five hundred out of ten thousand. So when you make a payment, who is the receiver? The partner is a receiver. He is a person, personal account. They be the receiver. So what you are paying? It is loan by partner. Okay. So loan by partner account. The respective partner who has given his account will be debited. And then cash is going out, cash or bank account. Now the balance 2500, which you are not going to make a settlement, correct? You won't make settlement, correct? Okay, then what it is for the partner? For the partner, the 2500 is considered as what? Pre-less, Loss. Yes. So the 2500 happens to be a loss. Okay. Where will you show this? So the amount has not got realized completely. Here, the amount has not got realized completely. So whereby there is a loss in the realization of the payment of loan. So now you think over and see what will happen to 2500 and where it will be shown. Apply your mind, presence of mind. you will create the realization account okay so to realization account okay why so so when you prepare the realization account just once again you remember this debit side credit side if the value of debit side is more then the balancing figure on the credit side will be shown as loss okay this side is loss and vice versa so here it is a case whereby it is a loss so loss should appear on the credit side so only if this gets debited okay it will be created in the realization so realization account is getting credited so loan by partner account debit to cash or bank account to real estate account so entire 10,000 you are settled in such a way over here it is 10,000 over here it is 7,500 and here it is 2,500 clear with this one now comes the last segment the last adjustment okay the last of this one is at the sorry, not the twelfth. Here it is. There was a contingent liability. Okay, was a contingent liability rupees thirty seven thousand in respect of bills discounted but not matured. Okay, all discounted bills honored, but an acceptor of a bill. Okay, for rupees five thousand became what insolvent that is bankrupt 50 paise in a rupee was received okay so 50 paise in a rupee so in one rupee you are getting 50 paise okay that is the concept 
in one rupee you are getting 50 paise that is what they are trying to say so the acceptor is accepted for what value 5000 rupees so in 5000 rupees how much you will be able to get from one rupee you are getting 50 paise they said as a clue from 5000 rupees how much you will be able to get very good 2500 the liability of the firm okay on account of this bill discounted and dishonored has not so far been recorded so it has become an unrecorded liability but anyhow it has to be settled it has to be addressed now what is this contingent liability is all about any idea about contingent liability contingent liability liability which may or may not take place it is basically liability okay which may or may not take place and where it will appear is in the footnote of balance sheet and not inside the liability column of a balance sheet this is the concept first a contingent liability is a liability which may or may not take place which may or may not happen so that's the reason it will not appear inside the liability column of a balance sheet it will be shown outside the liability side of a balance sheet as a footnote is this clear to you okay now total amount that you have to receive is in this case 5000 rupees okay but out of this 5000 the question says for 1 rupee you are going to get an amount of rupees 50 paise then what will be for an amount out of rupees 2000 sorry out of rupees 5000 so what are you getting paise that should be converted to rupee so when you see 1 rupee 50 paise so half it is so half of 5000 will be rupees 2500 this is the realized value this is your realized amount okay now where you will show the value first realization okay how much it should have been realized it should have been realized 5000 if it would have been realized 5000 then what will be your journal entry if the amount okay which is not realized okay that is 5000 should have got realized but not got realized it has got discounted okay so what will be the journal to be passed in this case i'll give you at least two to three minutes okay you take your time if you have your 11 textbook also you can refer this i want first you people to make an attempt and then okay let me know so two minutes you think about it and then you let me know i'll be back in a minute
Did anyone got some answer or any clue? Or searching out? Okay, still I'll give you time. Hello? Shall I break the silence? Hello? Or, okay, two moments I'll give you. I'll give you two moments for that. Hello? You just read the sentence once again. There was a contingent liability of 37,000 in respect of bill discounted, but not matured. All bills were, okay, all the discount bills were honored, but acceptor of the bill for rupees 5,000 has become insolvent. That means all the bills were honored, but an acceptor for 5,000 rupees has become insolvent. So, will this bill would have been honored by the bank? In the 5,000 rupees kind of bill, bank, honor, 
அப்போ டிஸ்ஆர்டர் ஆஃப் பில்லுக்கு முதல்ல என்ட்ரி பாஸ் பண்ணணும் ஓகே அடுத்தான் இந்த கொஸ்டின் ஒரு ஸ்பெஷாலிட்டி டிஸ்ஆர்டர் ஆஃப் அ பில் ஸோ டிஸ்ஆனர் ஆஃப் அ பில் வாட் இஸ் தி அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் பில் இனிஷியலி தி அசெட் இட் வாஸ் கிவன் த கொஸ்டின் ஆட் ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் இஸ் தி அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் யுவர் இனிஷியல் பேமெண்ட் டு பி ரிசீவ் ஓகே தட் இஸ் கெட்டிங் டிஸ்ஆனர் when this order takes place the entry will be as okay in general drawee account will be debited do you remember the terms drawer drawee pay all these things okay and then to bank just you have to reverse it drawee to bank account yes sir okay payment vandundana eppadi irukum suppose if the payment is received okay payment received from drawer that means this is a case of honor if it is honor what will be the entry bank account debit to drawee account okay this is a difference between this is a dishonor this is a honor case okay this entry if you are received this entry if you are not received now you make an understanding who is a drawee you have this three terms right drawee drawer pay when bill of exchange is there in the term okay bills of exchange you will have come across these three terms drawer drawee and pay okay let me write in the order itself drawer drawee now you tell me who will be a drawer who will be a drawee who is a pay in general whom do you call as a drawer who is a drawer <coughs> the person gives a check sir gives a check ka the person who writes the bill okay one who prepares the bill drawee on whom the bill is prepared pay one who makes the payment right okay now you tell me who who can prepare the bill seller on whom the bill can be prepared buyer and obviously who will make the payment majority of the case it will be the buyer when the bill of exchange will come into the picture bills of exchange when it will come into the picture when credit sales takes place in our business so the seller when he sells on credit he is a creditor the buyer will be your debtor yes obviously your debtor will make the payment if he is having it now you see this is a case of dishonor so which one you will take into account you will go with this journal or you will go with this journal which one you will take into account it's a case of dishonor so which one you'll take into account first hello okay so the first one you'll take it okay but here 
it is dissolution with dishonor okay it is a case of dissolution with dishonor am i right so you know now draw e is nothing but your debtor draw e is your debtor so debtor is an asset in place of that debtor or draw e what you have to substitute with with in place of that debtor or draw e what you have to substitute with yes so realization account is debited to bank since the entire 5000 rupees got rejected dishonored you are passing for 5000 is this clear to you first this you are clear with it and then as it was mentioned you are able to get only 50 paise okay in the mention you are able to get only a 50 paise in a rupee against the amount of rupees 5000 so that calculation we have done it for rupees 2500 so amount received from debtors okay so that means you are receiving in not in the form of bill of exchange somehow other you are collecting from the debtors so it will be as realization value the realized value is 2500 for that entry will be as realization account is debited to bank account and the value will be for Two thousand five hundred. If we put it in the concept, is can you able to understand this concept? Okay. So now, what I want you to do is, uh, since I'm not feeling well actually, to be very honest. Okay. So I just want at least this one problem to be completed, which uh, because. this was a promise which i gave you i'll teach you in the physical mode and i'll make you to understand what is the concept of dishonor but as we had a physical sessions no one come for came forward to ask this particular doubt okay it was kept as such and we went on with the other concepts so at least by now i want to make this particular problem to get completed so just excuse me okay like i just gave only for a Forty-five minutes or one hour, hardly not more than that. Okay, uh, so the next session definitely I'll be scheduling it in the evening. We'll definitely have it in the evening. Timing alone, I'll say you what and when it is. And today definitely we'll complete this uh, dissolution chapter. We are done with eleven chap eleven problems. There are still fourteen more problems, and those problems are quite easier. And some problems will have the replication and resemblance of the same, if possible. you people just try to complete at least up to problem number 15 or 16 by from your end and what are the doubts that you have marked up or you got please keep it uh, safe we'll discuss it in a evening session and we'll close it off clear yeah so sorry for the inconvenience and thanks for uh, accepting the lecture patiently okay hope you understood this concept of uh, dissolution and with uh, What is the dishonor? Have you? Yeah, and I also record the session quite immediately. I'll post it in the YouTube also. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome.